Hello. Today we'll be talking about Dog Trio, the only evolution of Diglett. Both versions evolve at level 26. Its past PYC dates are April 17th, 1996, February 6th, 1999, November 27th, 2001, September 17th, 2004, July 9th, 2007, April 29th, 2010, February 17th, 2013, December 9th, 2015, September 29th, 2018, and July 20th, 2021. I love that Dog Trio is just three Diglett. I also love a lowland dog trio having full heads of hair. Like Diglett, for some reason, the official art for a lowland dog trio is darker colors than dog trio's image. Also, I most remember dog trio and Diglett, but their chant in the English dub of the anime. Let's get into the Bulbapedia article. Hello and welcome to the Bulbapedia section of the video. Today we'll be talking about Dugtrio the mole Pokemon, whose number is 0051. Here's Dugtrio, here's a lowland Dugtrio. Types, a lot of lowland Dugtrio is ground, whereas a lowland Dugtrio is ground steel. Abilities, as non a lowland Dugtrio, it's sand veil or arena trap. A lowland Dugtrio's hidden ability is sand veil or tangling hair. And its hidden ability is Sand Force. Gen ratio is 50-50. Catch rate is 50 or 12.9%. Breeding, egg group field. Hatch time 20 cycles, height 2 foot 4 or 0.7 meters. Weight 73.4 pounds or 33.3 kilograms. That's his non Alolan Dugtrio. Alolan Dugtrio's is 146.8 pounds or 66.6 .6 kilograms. Base experience yield is 153 in the first 4 gen, 149 and 5 plus. Loving grade is medium fast. Uh, EV yield both have 2. And for Dugtrio, it's in 2 in speed. For Alolan Dugtrio, it's 2 in attack. Uh, shape is that. Has no footprint. Pokedex color brown. Base friendship is 70. Dugtrio is a ground type Pokemon introduced in Gen 1. It evolves from Diglett starting at level 26. In Alola, Dugtrio has a dual type ground steel regional form. It evolves from Alolan Diglett starting at level 26. It is ecologically similar to Wungtrio, however the two are separate species. Biology. Dugtrio is a set of Diglett triplets sharing a single body, although no one knows what its body looks like since it's perpetually buried underground. Each head is incredibly tough with a smooth surface and has brown skin, black eyes, and a large round pink nose. Dugtrio's three heads think the same thought and act cooperatively, though on rare occasions may fight over which head gets to eat first. In order to make Burrowing easier, each head will bob up and down to loosen the soil. Dugtrio can tunnel under the earth at 60 miles per hour, 100 kilometers per hour, to a depth of 60 miles or 100 kilometers, triggering tremors and earthquakes. It is capable of burrowing endlessly. Dugtrio lives in tunnels and caves under the earth. Dugtrio is considered important for agriculture as its digging aerates the soil and makes it suitable for farming. As shown in the anime, Dugtrio sometimes live in hollow trees in forests. It maintains the soil and plants trees to revitalize wooded areas. As mentioned in Pokemon Sleep, the three triplets of Dugtrio is known to sleep together, never separating from each other. The trio's teamwork remains strong even when sleeping. In Generation 2, Fissure was its signature move. Forms Dugtrio has a regional form Alolan Dugtrio. Alolan Dugtrio is visually very similar to its counterpart, except each head has a mop of golden hair formed from modified whiskers. The left head has a bob cut, the right head has curly shoulder-length hair, and the last one has flowing hair that touches the ground behind it. This hair is made out of thin yet heavy strands of steel, which grows slowly and continuously throughout a lowland dog trio's life. The hairs act as a defense measure as well as sensors that can detect vibrations from long distances underground. In the Alola region, a lowland dog trio is regarded as a feminine deity of the earth and taking its hairs is thought to bring bad luck. They can also be found in the coastal biome of Blueberry Academy's terrarium, where Alola's island life is simulated. A lowland dog trio and its pre-evolution are the only known Pokemon that can have Tangling hair as an ability. Wugtrio 
was once considered a regional variant of Dugtrio due to their resemblance, but has since been reclassified as a completely separate species. Evolution. Dugtrio evolves from Diglett. You can see that here. Alolan Dugtrio evolves from Alolan Diglett. You can see that here. Game data. NPC appearances. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Dugtrio and Diglett can be found roaming the halls of the Grand Underground. When 40 Diglett or Dugtrio, which count as three, have been found, all players in the same Grand Underground session will receive a variety of bonuses for a period of four minutes. These include race Raising the odds of finding a shiny Pokemon in a Pokemon hideaway from 1 in 4096 to 1 in 2048, and forcing all stone boxes when mining to become pretty stone boxes. Pokemon Pinball Dugtrio appears in a bonus stage that can be accessed by the red table. After the player has knocked out a number of Diglett, they must knock out the Dugtrio to, that appears to win. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Red Rescue Team, and Blue Rescue Team. Dugtrio sends the player to Mount Steel to rescue his son in the third story mission of the game. Dugtrio loves to show off to his son, but often forgets that people can't see him underground. Ah. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Time and Explorers of Darkness. Dugtrio is one of the members of the Wigglytuff Guild. He updates the Outlaw Notice Board and Job Bulletin Board with rotating boards. Like in the previous game, Diglett is his son. He believes that he can swim in the sea despite being a ground type. Pokedex entries in Generation 1, Red and Blue. A team of Diglett triplets. It triggers huge earthquakes by burrowing 60 miles underground. In Yellow, a team of triplets that burrow over 60 miles per hour. Due to this, some people think it's an earthquake. Stadium, Diglett triplets that always travel together, known to burrow more than 60 miles underground and trigger quakes. In Generation 2, in gold, its three heads bob separately up and down to loosen the soil nearby, making it easier for it to burrow. Silver, extremely powerful, they can dig through even the hardest ground to a depth of over 60 miles. Crystal, these Diglett triplets dig over 60 miles below sea level. No one knows what it's like underground. Stadium 2 is just gold again. In Gen 3, Ruby and Sapphire, Dugtrio are actually triplets that emerge from one body. As a result, each triplet thinks exactly like the other two triplets. They work cooperatively to burrow endlessly. Emerald. Because the triplets originally split from one body, they think exactly alike. They work cooperatively to burrow endlessly through the ground. Fire Red. In battle, it digs through the ground and strikes the unsuspecting foe from an unexpected direction. Leaf Green is Red and Blue's entry. In Gen 4, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, its three heads move alternately driving it through tough soil to depths of over 60 miles. Heart Gold and Soul Silver are their Gold and Silver counterparts. In Gen 5, those Pokedex entries are Diamond, Pearl, and Platinums. Uh, in Gen 6, X is Fire Red's entry. Y is the Silver entries. Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire are their Ruby and Sapphire counterpart. In Gen 7, for non-Alolan Dug Trio, this set of triplets moves cooperatively. It's the power of teamwork that enables this Pokemon to dig to a depth of 60 miles. Moon, Despite the closeness between this Pokemon and farmers and other people, no one has ever seen the parts of it concealed underground. Ultra Sun. While the three of them normally get along splendidly, on rare occasions a huge fight will break out over which head gets to eat first. Ultra Moon. Dugtrio's heads are sleek and smooth and incredibly hard. It can dig through any soil with its headbutts. In the Let's Go games, a team of triplets that can burrow to a depth of 60 miles. It's reported that this triggers an earthquake. For a lowland duck trio in sun, its shining gold hair provides it with protection. It's reputed that keeping any of its fallen hairs will bring bad luck. In Moon, these Pokemon are cherished in the Alola region, where they are thought to be feminine deities of the land incarnate. Ultra Sun. Its metallic whiskers are heavy, so it's not very fast, but it has the power to dig through bedrock. Ultra Moon. Its shining gold whiskers are advanced sensors that can detect vibrations from sounds several miles away. In the Let's Go games, they're referred to as triplets, but they're not identical. The metallic elements on their bodies differ slightly. The proof shows in their whiskers. In Gen 8, for non-Alolan Dog Trio, a Swords is Leaf Green and Red and Blues. Shields is Crystal's entry. Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, though that is the Diamond and Pearl entries. Alolan Dog Trio. In Sword, their beautiful metallic whiskers create a sort of protective helmet on their heads and they also function as highly precise sensors. In S.H.I.E.L.D., the three of them get along very well. Through their formidable teamwork, they defeat powerful opponents. In Gen 9, in for non Alolan Dog Trio, in Scarlet, that's the gold entries. Violet is Fire Red and Wise. 
for a lowland duck trio, Scarlet's is Ultra Moon's entry. In Violet, its metallic whiskers are heavy, so it's not very fast, but it has the power to dig through even the hardest bedrock. So we've got a duck trio in the Alola Pokedex, a lowland duck trio in the Alola Pokedex, duck trio in the Paldea Pokedex, so we've got a couple of them, and the Pokemon we'll talk about later. A lowland duck trio in the Blueberry Pokedex, so we've got the you know, lowland duck trio with and a lowland diglet, that's cute. Uh, sleeping next to, I believe, a galarian. Um, Slowpoke. That's interesting. Um, game locations. Side game locations. Held items, Doug Trio. Pokemon caught in Gen 1 must be traded to a Gen 2 game in order for a held item to appear. So, in red, blue, and yellow, you get a gold berry 100% of the time. In Gale of Darkness, you get. Soft Sand 100% of the time. In Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver, X, Y, Sword, Shield, Brilliant, Diamond, and Shining Pearl, you get Soft Sand 5% of the time. For a Lowland Duck Trio, in Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, and Ultra Moon, you get Soft Sand 5% of the time. Stats, base stats, we'll compare Generations 1 through 6, um, and then we'll compare Generation 7 onward with its a Lowland counterpart. HP 35, that stays the same. Attack 80, that goes up to 100. Defense 50, oh, that stays the same. A special attack 50, that stays the same. 70, that stays the same. Between 120, that stays the same. For a total of 405, and that goes up to 425. Uh, there's a note here in the Gen 1 through 6 box. This Pokemon special base stat in Gen 1 was 70. So HP 35, that stays the same. Attack 100, that stays the same. Defense 50, this one it's 60. Special def attack 50. That's the same. 70, that's the same. Speed 120, that goes down to 110. So 425 and 425. Pokathon stats. For type effectiveness, we'll compare Dugtrio with a Lowland Dugtrio. So Dugtrio is damaged normally by normal fighting, flying, ground, bug, ghost, steel, fire, psychic, dragon, and dark, and fairy. The only ones that say are ghost and dark. Uh... So this one's damaged normally by ghost, grass, ice, and dark. Doug Trio is weak to water, grass, and ice for double. So water, water's the only one that stays, but the grass and ice going to the damage normally by. A lowland Doug Trio is weak to fighting, ground, fire, and water for double. Doug Trio is immune to electric, which is true of a lowland Doug Trio, but it's also immune to poison. Uh, this one's resistant to poison and rock for half. This one is resistant to normal, flying, Rock, Bug, Steel, Psychic, Dragon, and Fairy, all for half except for Rock, which is a fourth. In the Duck Trio box here, uh, we got a note that says, If this Pokemon is given a ring target, the effectiveness of Electric-type moves is 1, so it goes from 0 to 1. In addition, Duck Trio is immune to the move Telekinesis. In the Alolan Duck Trio box, notes, If this Pokemon is given a ring target, the effectiveness of Electric-type moves is 1, so it goes from 0 to 1, and Poison-type moves is one half, so it goes from zero to half. In addition to Lolan, Dugtrio is immune to the move Telekinesis. Learns that by leveling up. We'll go down to 26, but we'll also talk about this Evo move here, Sand Tomb. 30 Sandstorm, 36 Dig, 42 Earth Power, 48 Earthquake, and 54 Fissure. For a Lolan Dugtrio, the first the Evo move, Sand Tomb, and Sandstorm at 30, 36 Dig, 42 Earth Power, 48 Earthquake, and 54 Fissure. By TM we're skipping, by, uh, you know, that we're skipping, by Breeding we're skipping, by Prior Evolution is nothing, TCG only moves, Sonic Boom, on that card, Side Game Data, Pokemon Ranger, Dog Trio occasionally pops its head out of the ground, but only very briefly. That was in the browser entry. Pokebark Wii, Pikachu's Adventure. Not wild. Ask Doug Trio to hide the minecart rail in the cavern zone. They love to live quietly, but sometimes they feel lonely. Aww. Doug Trio may look weak, but he was pushy. The incident with Exedrill led him to rethink his actions and his surroundings. Um, okay, we got this. Costumes, Pokemon Go. Fashionable costume. So it's the bowler hat. It's weird that's not on all three, but... I don't know, I guess it's on the tallest one. Lolan Dug Trio, okay, got all that. Evolution data, got all that. Okay, sprites. So we got these guys, they're all angry. Um, I forgot that they're so angry in the first generation. 
they don't, they don't, they're, they get not angry. Um, soil, of course, changes like it did for uh, Diglett. The sprites, none of them were, like, they don't all work for the, like this one, like that's a different color. Uh, yeah. Okay, so this introduces the red nose, this introduces the blue nose. Soil's obviously different. Yep, soil, you know, continues to be different. There's a much different change of color, I guess. The back sprites, you know, not really much say there. It's, it's uh, okay, yeah, I guess there's, I guess it does change a little bit as time goes on. Um, yep. It's actually weird because this one should be, if it's a back sprite of, I guess because it's constantly moving, you couldn't really define what is the proper back sprite, but if it were like just the back of this state, this this one should be in the back, not the front. Yeah. Because it's in the back. Yeah. Uh, anyway, it's like it is in here. Like, it's it's in the foreground rather than the background. Um, I don't know why it's looking off in a different direction. This one's angry. Oh, yeah. They, they gained angry again in this gen. But, yeah. Okay. Then they stop being angry and heart cold and soul silver. Um, two of them are angry. Oh, that's interesting. That two of them are angry here. Still, yeah. Basically the same. Um, now only one is angry, but only an a but not the shiny. I don't, I think that's like conditional or something. Um, yeah, it might just be the picture or something. Yeah. It's a little bit lighter as well. Um, none of them are angry. <laughs> um, but yeah, so. It's red, shiny here, um, for Alolan. Hair doesn't seem to change colors, much like its Diglett counterpart. Um, yep, so I got all this. I got some Let's Go games. Sword and Shield. Cross Generation Homes, I got all that. Um, in the anime, Duck Trio and Alolan Duck Trio in the anime. That's cool, I get to see both of them. Um, got this, okay, for Pokedex entries, this first one, I've recorded it for the anime section, so we'll let Dexter handle this one. Duck Trio, the evolved form of Diglett, no specific information available. Welcome back, let's move on here, so episode 114 in Ash's Pokedex, Duck Trio, formed when three Diglett combined, this Pokemon is able to tunnel deep beneath the Earth's surface. Sun and Moon, episode 23. In the Rotom Pokedex, Dugtrio, a lowland form, the mole Pokemon, a ground and steel type. They are revered in Alola as the reincarnation of a planet guardian and its siblings. Its golden hair provides protection. In what I assume is Journeys, episode 52, and goes Rotom Phone, Dugtrio, the mole Pokemon, a ground type, and the evolved form of Diglett. These three make an excellent team. When Dugtrio moves through soil, the soil becomes extremely aerated, which is excellent for farming. It has been reported to be quite useful for agriculture. Nine, okay. In the manga, so Dugtrio in, the, in Pokemon Adventures. Alolan Dugtrio in Pokemon Adventures. Got all this. TCG. Other appearances in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. In the Pokemon Stadium 2 stage, a Dug Trio can be seen on the ground terrain situated next to a large rock. Cubone and Pokemon fossils can also be seen on the ground terrain. There should not be an ampersand here. I guess there's also a trophy in this game. A mole Pokemon. It has three heads that seem to all think the same thing. It lives in caves and is skilled at digging, no matter how hard the ground is. It can dig up to 62 miles below the surface. It's among the fastest of ground-type Pokemon, a characteristic that can be counted on in combat. Its Sand Tomb is an effective attack that prevents opponents from escaping. In Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Dugtrio appears as a spirit as well as returning in the ground transformation of Pokemon Stadium 2. There is no period. Trivia. First point we did in, the, in yesterday's episode. Dugtrio has the highest base speed stat of all Ground type Pokemon of all Pokemon to have the highest speed stat of their respective types. Dugtrio is the slowest. We already did this point yesterday. Dugtrio's body has been described inconsistently throughout the franchise's history. Originally, it was three Diglett forming a group of three, but more recent Pokedex entries claim it split from a single Diglett into three. Sometimes separate, 
sometimes sharing a body. I read this point, uh, yesterday. Cantonian, Doug Trio, and Wug Trio have exactly the same base stats in the same distribution. Their pre-evolved forms also evolve starting at the same level. Alolan, Doug Trio, Wug Trio, and their pre-evolutions share two abilities, being Sand Veil and either Gooey or Tangling Hair, the latter two being variations of each other. Despite being described as three Diglett, in some sources, their official weight is listed as being well over the weight of three Diglett. In Generation 9, prior to the version 2.0.1 update of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, Cantonian Dugtrio was unable to learn Helping Hand via TM, while its pre-evolution could. Dugtrio is the only ground-type Pokemon consisting of multiple bodies. Origin, Dugtrio appears to be based on artificial moles used in the Whack-A-Mole arcade games. Alolan Dugtrio's hair may be based on Pele's hair, a thin volcanic glass formed near Hawaiian volcanoes. The lore of taking its hair may reference the modern Pele's curse, while its reputation as a feminine deity may be a reference to Pele herself. The darker soil surrounding its body may be a reference to black sand, which is formed on beaches near volcanoes. Its seal type may be a reference to another kind of magnetic black sand found in placer deposits. It also resembles a stereotypical Southern California surfer with tanned skin and blonde hair. Name origin, Doug Trio may be a combination of Doug and Trio, a group of three. Shocking, I know. Uh, other languages, related articles, references, external links to these. And let's move on. Now let's watch Doug Trio's first scene in the anime. Hello and welcome to the anime portion of the video. Today we are watching episode 31, Dig Those Diglet. In this episode, Ash the main character and his traveling companions, Brock and Misty, and his faithful Pokemon, uh, Pikachu, have wandered on the side of a dam that is being terrorized by Diglet here. Uh, they are currently taking um, these sticks and moving them somewhere else. Uh, and Ash and his party are uh, following them. So they are currently singing the Diglett song, the famous Diglett chant, I guess. Um, which and then the trio, the dog trios will join in. There's Doug trio. They're planting the trees. Planting the sticks and or whatever. As trees, yeah. Duck Trio, the evolved form of Diglett. No specific information available. Oh, now I get it. This must be Diglett and Doug Trio's home. Okay, that's probably, yeah. So he's just explaining that this is Diglett and Doug Trio's home and that they're planting the trees of the mountain or whatever. Uh, but yeah, that's Doug Trio's first scene in anime, so let's move on. Now let's see Doug Trio's scenes in Detective Pikachu. Hello and welcome to the Detective Pikachu portion of the video, or as I like to call it, Detective Doug Trio. Uh, as this is only the frames with Doug Trio. Uh, kind of. So a Doug Trio doesn't physically appear, but it appears here on this scroll. Um, probably a couple times. But also, um... There's a logo that's clearly based on uh, Doug Trio, so I've counted that. Uh, so to explain, uh, the main character Tim Goodman is watching a video introducing him to Rhyme City. Right now, the video is talking about how humans used Pokemon for the common good. For the common good. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so we've got uh, the logo there. The big logo is here, so you can see the three: the blue and the red. Maybe the blue being a reference to Shiny's nose. Okay, so... So that first, so that was a shot, uh, there was a couple, um, establishing shots of the city. Then that one with Pikachu, that's Detective Pikachu. Um, and Tim was running from some Apom, uh, who had some, uh, Argas, which is a chemical that makes the Pokemon go crazy. Now I've got to way later in the film. Um, this is Mewtwo, he's con being controlled by Howard Clifford, the founder of Rhyme City, whose goal is to make a partnership with Pokemon by turning people into Pokemon, so he's using a device called the Neuralink, you can kind of see it here, to put his mind in Mewtwo, um, and now, and he's at a parade, so he's gonna pop the balloons, we'll see these a few times, probably, um. Of Rhyme City! I finally discover can evolve into the future! Because then that was, so, 
Detective Pikachu is fighting uh, Mewtwo slash Howard. This is now Detective Pikachu on a Pidgeot. Um, and, they're, and it's going crazy because it sucked in some of the R gas that was being released. Ah! Ah! So it's lifted them off, he's falling. Oh. And that, okay, those last couple scenes were just uh, Pikachu fighting with Mewtwo and yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this, let's move on. Now let's see why people love Dr. Trio. Now let's look at fan art. Welcome to the fan art section of the video. Now we sent in fan art, so instead we're looking at DeviantArt fan art. For those of you who don't know how this works, what we do is we go through these images until we find an image that doesn't contain a Doug Trio. This first one doesn't, so we'll skip to go to this one. This is 051 Smaller by Kutsuku. So this is a Doug Trio. One head's angrier than at this one, and this one's just happy, you know. It's in rocks. It's very cute. A little bit stylized. And then we've got Doug Trio by Joshua Dunlop here. This this thing. Um, it's interesting looking. I'm not sure I entirely agree that this is what it would look like, but if it were real, but I don't know. Whatever. Let's just move on. It's kind of creepy. This one's called Desolate Land Omega Ruby by Takun Art. So we've got this uh, Doug Trio down here. A whole bunch of other Pokemon. Um, okay, where do we want to start? So we got Drillbur, Sandshrew, Sandslash, Mega Swampert, Onyx, a Rhyhorn, a Fanfy, and a couple, Donphan, Camerupt, and Mega Camerupt, and a Nummel, and a Shiny Camerupt, I'm guessing. A couple Rhyhorn. We got a Hippowdon and a Hippotoss. Looks like a Diglett up here. Primal Groudon in the center here. Rhyperior, and... Trapinch, Diggersby, I think, just by the based on the weird hand things. Marowak, Palpatoad, and Seismatoad here, uh, and then we also have Landorus. Very cool image, slightly stylized, particularly as you go up on the mountain here. Also this one. Um, yes, yeah, so it's all very angry and very intense. Yes, very good use of color. And this is not a Doug Trio, so we'll move on. Thanks to everyone who submitted fan art. I won't be streaming tonight as I need to wait until I talk about Stormlax before I can evolve Diglett into Doug Trio. As for a Lowland Doug Trio, I'll have to wait until I talk about the Gen 7 Pokemon before I can get back to that one. Tomorrow I'll be talking about Meowth. As always, this isn't my proper outfit, and you'll see me tomorrow.